Hello guys, I am back with the new topic. Today our topic is how to find or check both numbers are equal or not in assembly language. So let's start our topic. First of all, you have to do the linker setting. If you don't know how to do the linker setting of your Visual Studio, then you can follow my previous videos. Otherwise, you can find the link in the description. And after that, you will have to know the basic syntax of writing assembly language programs. So let's begin our today video. In this video, we will check that two user input numbers are equal or not. So first of all, I am going to initialize a message that is enter first number on screen that is uh, will be displayed on screen and uh, enter first number and uh, after that the second message is enter second number these two messages will be used to take input from user and uh, variable to store the input that we got from user and variable one is also for same purpose uh, first of all i will display a first message that is enter first number on screen to do this we will i will use move vdx offset message and then call write string to display it on screen After that call read int to get input from user as we have said that uh, we will take it two numbers from user. And now I am going to move the input value into variable to use it for further in the program. And now I will display the second message on screen. Uh, the second message is uh, enter second number. And after displaying it, I will take input from user. That is, uh, I will use call read int to get input from user. And uh, in same same as that, I have moved the first variable value. Here, I will also move the ex value of ex into variable one that we can use it for, for further in our program. And now here we need a message that uh, both numbers are equal in case of uh, equal statement. And uh, another message is uh, uh, both numbers are not equal or you can use numbers are not equal and uh, any message of your choice you can use. And uh, now we will use compare statement to compare two numbers in assembly language. First of all, I will move the variable value into ex and then I will compare it with the second variable value. And here I will use je that is jump equal if both numbers are equal then jump to equal equal tag and after that jump not equal if both numbers are not equal then move to not equal tag here i am writing in equal tag that is uh, move edx i am only displaying the message both numbers are equal and uh, after that i am using exit exit is the most necessary part where you are using multiple tags if you don't use it it will execute all of your tags
after that the set, second statement not equal and uh, now again call red string to display a message numbers are not equal on screen and then uh, exit so let's check our program working is it working fine or not according to our uh, program statement so let's build it Uh, as you can see on screen, I am having uh, some basic syntax errors. So let's resolve it first. After resolving these errors, uh, I will build it again. And now check uh, the errors has been resolved or not. Uh, you can see the program is built succeeded now debugging. The debugging process will take time depending upon your laptop speed. In my case, my laptop is a little bit slow, so that's why it is taking a time. If you have a good uh, laptop with good uh, processing speed, the debugging process will work fast. As you can see, the debug screen is displayed on, and uh, after processing it into the memory, it will display the first message. Uh, taking too much time yes the message is dis displayed on screen now we enter any number uh, here I am adding 2 and uh, after that 1 as you can see numbers are not equal messages displayed now we will run it again to check for other numbers and here I am entering 5 and after 6 numbers are not equal in same case and now again debugging and uh, now we will check for equal both numbers are equal you can check it for uh, different numbers you can see both numbers are equal again Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon, hope you liked the video.